Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Daniel from DKA TBD. And today me and my friend are going to present about our case study to Highway and Traffic Civil Engineering. This is our team members. The first one is me, Daniel Hazib bin Ahisham, F1117. The second one is Uma Arfan bin Haidi, F1138. Next, Muhammad Amir Uzad bin Majdi, F1114. And next, Muhammad Alif bin Shukur, F1129. Muhammad Nazmi Reza bin Ahmad Hafiz, F1124. And the last one is Muhammad Yusuf bin Ahmad Arifin, F1121. The first one is introduction. In introduction, I gonna tell about the background of Jalan Raja Musa Mahadi. Unko Omar Polytechnic located at Jalan Raja Musa Mahadi, formerly known as Jalan Dairi. Iko Perak State was established in 1969. Unko Omar Polytechnic was founded in 1969 by the Malaysian Ministry of Education with the assistance of UNESCO. UNESCO was tasked with designing and implementing the building of the Polytechnic on a 22.6 hectare plot of land on Dairi Road in Ipoh. In honor of his great service to the nation, particularly in the realm of medical research, the Polytechnic was named after the late Dato Professor Unku Ahmad Ahmad. Hi, my name is Muhammad Nesbureza and I will explain about problem statement. So the first one is driver attitude. Drivers in cars and motorcycles always use the road to get to their destination. Drivers who disregard their passengers and other drivers' safety create more traffic accidents than other road users eventually bear. Road structure. Roads are frequently used by road users to go to their destinations. Drivers will be affected by road conditions. Good road conditions contribute to safe traffic, but poor road conditions result in accidents that may injure or even kill. This is only to massive blocks like cement trucks, bitumen trucks, and lorry moving stones across the region to the construction site. Furthermore, because the operation is done in three to four days, which we are placed in an area for a lengthy period of time. And next, we learn enforcement. The law is extremely important in educating society to be more disciplined in a particular subject and when it has committed an unforgivable sin until punished by law. Strict restrictions may help to develop a good society. But low, less low may allow a group to be oblivious to wrong greed. This law compound red encourage roads uh, users to commit traffic offenses on a frequent basis. Consumer uh, protection legislation should be reinforced to prevent repeat offenders from committing the same offenses. One of the most prevalent offenses committed by driver is the failure to stop at red light. The next is objective. The first one is effective of traffic management to reduce road accident at the conflict direction. And next, identify the type of pavement defects. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Alif bin Shukur and I will talk about literature view of road at Jalan Raja Musa Mahadi. Okay, this is a picture of traffic light that we found on Jalan Raja Musa Mahadi. This traffic light is located at the intersection of four roads. Every traffic light works well to facilitate the journey of every vehicle that will pass through the road. Next is traffic management function. First is to ensure safety and comfort of road using. Second is to ensure that the law and instruction that can be delivered to the user. And lastly, to study the factor of accidents at certain location of traffic. 
Okay, this is the type of pavement defect that we found on Jalan Raja Musim Hadi. First is block cracking. Block cracks look like large interconnected rectangles. Block cracking is not load associated, but generally caused by strain edge of the asphalt pavement due to an inability of asphalt binder to expand and contract with temperature cycles. Okay, second is pothole. Pothole are the end result of each cracking as alligator cracking becomes severe. The interconnected cracks create small chunks of pavement, which can be dislodged as vehicles drive over them. The remaining hole after the pavement chunk is dislodged is called a pothole. That's all for me. Thank you. Um, my name is Muhammad Amir Izzat bin Majidi. Uh, my metric number is 01DKA21F1114. I will talk uh, about methodology, road management. Location area, Jalan Raja Musa Mahadi in front Polytechnic Unku Omar. A, road management method. The most frequent of highest cause of road accident is safe inflict crash with an estimate of more than 2,000 case record throughout 2018. In this issue of road accident, there are various reasons why road accident often occur as a result of self-inflicted crash. Road damage and pothole are caused by heavy vehicles such as trailer that are also road user. When Heavy vehicles are constantly passing by. This causes the road to not be able to support the weight of the vehicle and continue to crack or crack and eventually become a hole. Maintenance of pothole. Number one, the type of maintenance is restoration maintenance, which cover the work of repairing the road surface to its original form by using patching technique. This is done during emergency situations such as explosion of several potholes that require immediate repair so that vehicle user can use the road comfortably, safely and the risk of accident occurring is also low. Uh, number two, the bitumen surface is used as a pavement surface in order to accommodate traffic and avoid moisture seepage, maintaining a good road structure. If the bitumen surface has start to show sign of weakness, for example, the road is puddle, then it is necessary to study whether the cause of the damage start in the surface on the pavement or in the subgrade before repair work or renewal of the road surface is carried out. B. Road Defect Inspection Method The first category is current maintenance which is work such as road and drainage cleaning, grass cutting, landscape maintenance and so on. The second category is periodic maintenance which is periodic repair work such as repainting straight furniture, repairing the road, cutting and patching crack road, surface and so on. The third category is emergency maintenance, which is involved damage that cannot be delayed and expected or is out of control by endangered road user. In this case, pothole damage is categorized under emergency maintenance. So today I'm going to talk about finding and discussion. First of all, my name is Marfan Ben Haidil. My matches number is 018821F1138. Finding and discussion. Suggestion of redesign area. The present road failures are mostly seen in Africa due to bad infrastructure development on the continent. Such failures have resulted in local communities having challenges transporting their goods as well as providing service to customers. This is why maintenance of road failure is vital for any developing countries. 
In my view, maintenance is the best practice for us because it takes away constraint mobility, significantly raise reducing operating costs, increase accelerate and the associated human and property costs, and aggravate isolation, poverty, poor health, and illiteracy in rural communities. Effects of road failure Heavy traffic crash, high vehicle operation costs. The next one is increased cost of goods and service, and the last one is improbable cost of fatality. How to prevent road failure? Improve engineering design. The next one is review codes of practice, standards, and specification. Improve procurement process for road construction and management. And the last one is increase and continuous capacity building within the industry. So I'm going to talk about uh, road pavement defect. There's uh, like many examples for road pavement defect and I'm going to talk about certain. The first one is block cracking. Block cracks look like large interconnected rectangles roughly. Block cracking is not load associated but generally caused by shrinkage of the asphalt pavement due to an inability of asphalt binder to expand and contract with temperature cycles. And how to fix it? Less of a cracks measuring 1.2 inch or less can be sealed to prevent moisture from entering into the subject. Most of the cracks should be fixed by removing the crack main layer and replacing it in an overlay. The next one is potholes. Pothole is small bowl shaped depressions in the pavement surface that penetrate all the way through the asphalt layer down to the base course. They generally have sharp edges and vertical sides near the top of the hole. And how to fix it is full depth replacement patch. The next one is edge cracking. Edge cracks travel along in the inside edge of a pavement surface between 1 or 2 feet. The most common cause for this type of crack is poor drainage conditions and lack of support at the pavement edge. And how to fix it is the first step in correcting the problem is to remove an existing vegetation close to the edge of the pavement and fix in any drainage problems. Crystal or fill the cuts to prevent further deterioration or remove the and reconstruct to full depth fixing and support issues. The third one is joint reflection cracks. These are cracks in a flexible pavement overlay of a rigid pavement. They occur directly over the underlying rigid pavement joints. Your reflection cracking does not include reflection cracks that occur away from an underlying joint or from any other type of base. And how to fix it is for less severe cracks, less than half inch, crack sealing, crack sealing will prevent for the further entry of the moisture into the subgrade. If the cracks are more severe, the removal of the cracked pavement layer forward by an overlay may be required. The last one is Shoving. Shoving is the formation of ripples across pavement. It is typically caused by excess asphalt, too much fine aggregate, brown aggregate, too soft and asphalt, or a weak granular base. And to fix this problem is partial or full depth patch. So that's all from me. Thank you. Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Uh, my name is Iso Jalamarishim. My metric number is, is F1121. Okay, today I will explain a little bit of conclusion and recommendation. Okay, so this is a picture of uh, Raja Musa Mahadi Road. Okay, number one, the Raja Musa Mahadi Road is seen in the diagram above before it was improved. There are several problems with the road, including the fact that there is no a pedestrian crossing. The road is uneven and it is hazardous for motorcycle. Number two, uh, consequently, we discovered several suggestions for improving road safety. Okay, continue to the next slide. Okay, this is a picture of uh, Jalal Raja Musa after we sketch, after we change. Okay, number no one, Raja Musa has undergone a uh, change, some of which include the installation of traffic signal and the stream crossing as shown in the diagram above. The ministry of this change are uh, numerous, including uh, make crossing easy for people. May send the light light of accident. 
Okay, uh, I will continue to uh, next slide. Okay, this is uh, road damage at Jalan Raja Musa Mahdi. We have uh, three category. Number one, we have uh, shoving. Shoving cause the ripples to appear on the paper because of its uh, this thing from this kind of discomfort. Discomfort is a to as was pointed. Shoving happens in place with high horizontal tension, such as okay, how to fix. Uh, how to fix this we need to pressure or full uh, depth patch okay number two we have uh, depression uh, depression not only for human but also for work okay number one Metalization of lemon surface known as depression have the that lower elevation than the surrounding pavement when the pressure filled with water after a storm, they become highly obvious. Okay, how to fix? Depending on how bad the depression is, it could be uh, necessary to remove and replace the asphalt by using an infrared patch or a thin surface patch. Less severe depression can be repaired. And Pop holes. Okay, pop holes a small depression in the pavement surface with a bowl like form that extends all the way through the uh, asphalt to the base holes. Near the top of the hole, uh, they often have a vertical size and sharp edge. Moisture illustration causes a photo. Uh, post holes, which are typically the consequence consequences of untreated alligator cracking. Okay, how to fix this? Uh, we need to fill that uh, replacement patch. Okay. I think uh, that's all for me. Thank you. That's all from us. If you guys had any question, you guys can ask one of us or comment in the comment section. Hope you guys understand what we want to present about our case study and that's all. Thank you.